Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to work with the launch pad. And the launch pad is where you can go and launch an application on your Macintosh. So it's the button right here on the, the dock on the bottom. It's right next to the finder window. I'm just going to go ahead and it's right next to the finder button. I'm just going to click on launch pad. And I've got actually two pages of applications. And so now what I want to do is I kind of want to clean these up a little bit because I want to group them according to the applications that they belong to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my Apple products and I'm going to attempt to put them all in the same group. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start with messages. And I'm just going to try to drag it onto FaceTime. So I'm just going to go over here, drag this onto the FaceTime, and it's going to create a grouping and this is called social networking I could actually change the name of this if I want to but um, in fact I could just go here to social networking and I could just call these Apple icons enter that in and now I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna start finding all my other Apple related icons and just drag and drop them into this folder so I'm gonna take this find my Drag it there, Apple Store. I'm just going to drag all these in here. They all got, they're all my Apple icons. Photo booth. Let's see if it's going to let me do it. It's, it's running away from me. Sometimes it tries to run from me, but you got to get that little connection. And then you got to hold it there. Still not wanting to do it. Give me a second. Get back over here. It's trying to run. It doesn't like me. And this might actually happen to you. See if I can move it over here closer. There we go. Now, I'm going to put notes in there. All right. Reminders is going to go in there. So all of my Apple icons, I'm just throwing them all into the same folder. So I don't have to have all these icons in my um, launch pad. And now you're going to notice how I can begin to start moving some of these ones over. But when I go over to the second page, just by just taking my mouse and just dragging it or just clicking and holding and pushing it over, now I'm going to go to the next page, but notice how I can get over here now and start working with my Microsoft. Because notice how I see, my, I see Microsoft Outlook, and um, now I want to go and find Microsoft Word. So I want to group all my Microsoft items together. So I'm going to try to drag and drop my Microsoft Outlook onto Word. It's going to create a, create a group. It says productivity. I'm just going to type in Microsoft. Okay. I'll just say Microsoft Office. There we go. And so everything that's related to Microsoft, I'm just going to just drag and drop in this folder, in this group. And as I told you before, that it starts to run from you a little bit, but don't let, it, don't let it deter you. Don't let it, you know, scare you away. I'm just going to try to put Teams in there, Microsoft OneNote, okay? Then I can begin to drag this group to the first page. Okay, so now I'm going to drop this over here. And of course, the settings can go in the um, Apple icons as well. Even the contacts. So I'm just going to keep on moving these apps into the Apple icons folder. And then I'm going to go over here to this other screen and begin to work with Microsoft. And I'm going to also put the Adobe applications all together as well. And once I finish with this process, I'm going to have one page of apps and you're going to be able to see all of the groups on the first page. So um, now I've got everything on one page. But now if I go to Apple icons, I can click on that. And now you can see all of your Apple related icons that you can access. I think it's easier for me because I know if it's, if it's related to Apple, I can just get straight to it. Okay. Same thing with Microsoft Office. I can get right there and see what I've got there. So that is how you group your applications so that you can have them all on one page, one screen, and being organized and grouping all of these items according to the type of application. Microsoft Office, Adobe Creative Cloud, and so on.